Okay, we're going to do a bit of general advice now for May um, in the garden, Keith. So, we're starting here with the lawns. Um, you've, you've stood me in front of plenty of products here. Um, so, it's time for people to start feeding the lawns, I'm guessing, well, and treating uh, them, really. Most people start off in April with a, a, one of these complete weed and feeds, but there's no reason why it can't be done in May. Um, so, if, if it wasn't done last month, uh, there's a good, good chance to do it this month uh, instead. Um, it, w it will green up the lawn, uh, give it a quick feed. Um, it, it will kill smaller weeds and there's also a moss treatment in there so it's it's worth doing um, once a year and this is probably the, the best time. I know something I've noticed at home now, I've given my lawn a bit of a late first cut really if I'm honest. Um, so I've cut it all off and I've got these yellow patches You cut now, it too short didn't you? Um, about the lawn so is there anything I can put on there just to to help, what's the best thing to, to help one, it on one its of, way? One of these feeds because it, it's got lots of nitrogen in it will green it up within a few days really. But a lot of people do that, they, 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 they make the, the first cut too low and of course you see all this yellow grass at the, at the base and uh, it just needs to recover. So like a four in one would be something which would, would sort that out for me then? Yeah, yeah. And then just raise the cut a little bit before you do it next time and, uh, and then gradually lower the cut through the season. And you, you need to cut it once a week really to, to keep a, a lawn in good condition, twice a week if you, if you want a, a better surface. That's brilliant. And now generally in the garden, Keith, what else is there? What else needs doing? Well, I will say a little bit about the pond. So finishing off taking out uh, unwanted plants, um, feeding fish more because they're becoming more, much more active at this time of year. Um, and it's a good time to add uh, new fish um, and new plants. We've got lots of, um, lots of new pond plants just come in. So it's a good time to, to restock the pond with, with both fish and, and plants. Um, keep feeding the birds, um, they're pretty active at the moment because they, you know, they're nesting. Um, just make sure they can't get whole peanuts because they, they, they can choke um, young birds. Um, keep up with the watering as we've said, particularly for newly planted uh, trees and shrubs. Um, and keep on top of the weeding, uh, keep that hoe going. Um, it's quite important to you know, make sure that you're growing the plants you want to grow and not, not the things that are going to cause problems later on. And, and you've got to make sure that weeds don't seed, because if they do, you've got problems for the years to come. I tell you what I did in the garden, it was about three weeks ago now, when we had all the nice dry weather. I had nettles all the way along the border and a bit of the, the extra strong roundup I popped in there, and it seemed to work like straight away. It yeah. was almost instant, really. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming that's due to the weather as well that we had, or? Yeah, they, they won't take the poison in unless they're beginning to grow quite actively, so you did that at the right time. Uh, and these um, stronger uh, weed killers are, are very good. They go into the plant, kill the root, because with nettles, that's the important thing, to kill that root, because they will come back otherwise. And I think you'll probably find that you've, you've got on top of it. You can always treat it again if it does start to regrow. Once you've got six inches of growth, that's enough leaf to take in the, the poison, and you can, you can give it a second treatment if you have to. Brilliant, and just quickly on the greenhouse now, people have taken that insulation off now, I'm, I'm assuming. Probably, it, yeah. It's time to start thinking about maybe changing it over and, and preparing it for the summer now, really. Yeah, this is the, the month where, it, it, during the day, it's becoming a bit too hot, uh, and at night it, it's still quite chilly, so you're in that intermediate position, but um, ventilating during the day, closing up um, in the afternoon, particularly if it's a forecast for a chilly night, um, and thinking about shading, uh, getting the shading on for the, for the next few few months. And people will be still pricking out uh, their small uh, plants and, and potting on, um, and hardening on the, um, the bedding plants and some perhaps of edge that grown. So that's putting the plants out during the day, bringing them back in at night, or into a cold frame, uh, and you open it during the day and close it up at night. And it just gets plants ready for um, the rigours of being outside on their own uh, towards the end of the month. That's brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Keith.